Today's morning coffee vinyl side, Jimmy Rogers, His Golden Year, 1959. All killer, no filler. That's what I'd call this compilation of Jimmy's hits from his first three albums. When you distill his output into the essential and get to the heart of who he was as an artist, you definitely zero in on what made him unique. He was a folk balladeer and crossover artist with toes in rock, pop, and adult contemporary. And he was damn good at that. Everything else his label tried to turn him into was a distraction. We've already seen how 1959 was a big year for Jimmy, releasing no fewer than four albums and landing his own television variety show. And it was pretty clear from his album TV Favorites that the quality of his output was starting to suffer from what I'll call overwork or even diffusion, as he seemed to be pulled in too many directions and deviated from the material that initially made him a star. We also know that Jimmy's label, Roulette, was mob-owned, allegedly, but we just don't know how involved they were beyond the obvious and how much agency Jimmy had in the process. Well, today is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, a holiday in its own right that I'm still kind of unsure about as far as origin goes. We made it through Christmas proper, the first Christmas since my mother's passing, and it went pretty smooth. My wife and I stayed at home, spun records, and cooked a turkey, which I have to say was lovely. Christmas is the one day our businesses are all closed, so our phones are relatively silent. Oh, and if you want a turkey tip, forego the stuffing. It's the secret to even roasting. It's quicker, too. We also watched some TV including some of those Hallmark-type Christmas movies which we both developed a fondness for. Now, initially we watched them, ironically, as cultural observers or social scientists, absolutely too cool for school, cataloging and critiquing them with a detached indifference as we charted out their formulas. But familiarity breeds contentment and we soon found ourselves watching them in warm anticipation, following along with each trope as they played out, getting excited when there was a new deviation. It's a glimpse into a future when we're both old and infirm. I know exactly what we'll be doing, and I don't know if it's a dream or a nightmare. This will be a short one, but we'd like to wish everyone a safe and happy holiday. I have a complicated relationship with Christmas that I'm still working out, but as with all things, I recognize that we have the power to create meaning and purpose within ourselves. I've no doubt this includes Christmas too. We'll figure it out.